Hi, my name is Dr. Frederick Edward Fabella, and I will be discussing the foundations of quantitative research, part five, the data gathering method. Okay, so let's review the process so far. So we have learned that in step one, uh, you have identified, for example, the variables that you want to study, you have variable one and variable two. So the next step was being able to state your problem so you now have the statement of the problem and in the third step you were able to connect your two variables using a theory okay so what is your step for now how to gather your data okay so let's ask the question what kind of data do you need the kind of data that you need will depend on your statement of the problem Okay, so you might need, let's say, scores, or you might need uh, uh, behavior, information about behavior, or you might need uh, records. All right, so these are the general types of data that you might need depending on your statement of the problem. So let's consider first scores. So to obtain scores, you first need an instrument, a valid and reliable instrument to obtain the scores. So if you are studying people, for example, you might want to give them a test or you might want to give them a questionnaire or you might conduct a survey. All right, so all of these instruments will yield scores that you might need in your study. Okay. So let's now proceed to behavior. Okay, so how will you get information about behavior? So what method? If you cannot simulate the behavior that you want to study, you may need to go to the natural setting of where the behavior is occurring and observe the behavior there. All right, or if you can simulate the situation where the behavior might occur, you can conduct an experiment. Okay, you can probably conduct it in a laboratory. Okay, so that's how you gain information about behavior. Now, how about records? So there are different examples of records. Okay, you can have students' grades, for example, or employee ratings, or raw data from other studies. So these are just examples. Of course, each example will have a different source. So you need to go to the source. Like, for example, students' grades will come from the school, employee ratings will come from the company, and raw data from other studies will, of course, come from researchers. Okay, so let's try to sum up. So the statement of the problem will have identified your variables. You have variable one and variable two. And you need to ask the question, what kind of data is variable one and variable two? Okay. Of course, uh, once you've been able to answer what kind of data that is and you found a way to measure or obtain that, you, know, you can now proceed to your data gathering method. Okay. All right. So that ends my discussion on the data gathering method. If you want to stay updated with my upcoming lectures, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prof. Eric F. Thank you very much.